Good morning, Fabcasters. This is our bar with the drive time. I haven't done a video cast in a long time, but hey, here we are. I uh, just wanted to share what's on my heart. Just met with my buddy Scott, as you heard from uh, a few episodes ago. Tattoos, weed, punk rock, and the gospel. Um, I love, I absolutely love being surrounded with men who can speak truth in my life. And it's so, it's so different. I mean, I have, I purposely seek out relationships with people who aren't of faith, with uh, people who don't believe in Jesus, people who don't believe in God, because I believe that's what we're called to do. Just be friends with people and, and meet people wherever they're at. And I, I love it. And at the same time, man, I, I seek out relationships with men in particular who are who are rooted in the gospel who are good gospel listeners i mean they don't they're not just listening to just wait their turn to talk they're they're actually connecting the visible physical world with things in the spiritual uh, taking my thoughts captive and making them obedient to christ so what that looks like is if i so if I vented something, he'd be able to connect right away with, with an issue that's going on in my heart. So this morning, I mean, within the first minute, I'm, I'm crying. And uh, I've felt like that for a while now. But I just, I've, I've been in, in touch with, with my brokenness in two areas. In the area of, of inadequacy as a, as a husband and, um, and as a father. So what Scott helped me see this morning was that the closer I get to the light, the more contrasting um, shadows in my life will be. And so immediately that, that put me in a place of really celebrating when I can see the actual darkness in my heart. Like this morning, I just felt broken because... Um, we were, my wife had asked me, um, are you going to make coffee? And then I said, yes. And then, and then she ended up making it and, uh, it's just, just in jest, she goes, I made it. And, and well, my heart went to, uh, an area of defending myself. And so that's where I felt, that's where I felt broken. That's where I felt, um, why is that still there? And I've, and I've had this deep desire lately to, um, I want my kids to know that they're second place to my wife. I want my kids to feel the fact that, oh, my daddy loves my mom way more than he loves us. And I want them to be sickened at, at our smooching. And, and they were the other day, which was pretty awesome. Like, ew, they're kissing. I love that. Um, and at the same time, it's not it's not always there. And so what my buddy Scott was able to point out was like, dude, you're... As you draw closer to the light, these areas of darkness are going to become more and more apparent. And for us to celebrate in that moment, like, thank God I can, I can see these things. And um, so that's just an amazing revelation I had. Hey, you're going to have to bear with me for a second. I am, I'm pulling into a um, gate okay. here. Morning, bro. How you doing? Doing good. Thank you, sir. All right, have day. a good day, man. Hey, thanks for doing your job. Thank you. All right. I love the guards where we live. Gated community. Gated community is awesome. Protection. So, um, yeah, I and I. He encouraged me to not beat myself up when I when I see those dark areas in my life, but rather to rejoice that, that the darker they get, it's because I'm closer to the light. And who is the light? God is the light. And in him, there is no darkness, no darkness at all. So if being close in my relationship with the creator God means that the dark areas would be more and more evident and apparent and, and contrasting and it'd be like light here and dark here and the shadow is just coming out popping off of the ground 
that that would be, I mean, practically speaking, it would, it would be this. Where I, oh, I'd, I'd tried to defend myself again this morning. I don't need to do that. I know where that came from. And I could see it so clearly. Thank you. Thank you. I, thank you that, that you've given me sight to be able to see that. I mean, it, I mean, five years ago, I would have been, I don't got a problem. What's your problem? What's your problem? But it's, it's a, it is a true joy to be there. And so now I just want to encourage any Fabcasters who's listening to this message or maybe someone sent it to you. If, if you're frustrated, whether it's in parenting or with your spouse or with, with at work or in a situation, maybe going through an ugly divorce, maybe a breakup or something like that. And, and you feel that frustration in your heart towards other, other people that, that might just be a good sign of you becoming more aware of your need for some sort of savior. And, um, you know, I submit to you that don't settle for any savior. There's a lot of saviors out there, but settle for the savior. Throw yourself at the mercy of the person who created us all. Um, and say, Lord, I'm, I'm, I'm becoming more and more aware of my need for you in this particular area. Um, as I draw near to you, I understand that I'm going to become more and more aware of my need for you. And I'm okay with that. And I'm not going to beat myself up over that. But rather, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rejoice. So, it is 9... 45 coming back to the house gonna pick up the girls bring them to gymnastics a uh, sh little short sweet to the point vlog here video blog I love you fabcasters that's why I share my life as well as the gospel with you guys all right peace